Hello folks and welcome back to SnowRunner, my hardcore version. Uh, and I wanted to show you a couple of things. So I was wrong in the, I think it was the last episode. Uh, I told you you could not pack a truck on a cargo trailer. And I was incorrect with that. You can pack a vehicle on one of these cargo beds. What you can't do is pack a mission vehicle on one of these cargo beds. So I did try that, and that's what I originally tried. Uh, we have the <clears throat> mission that was, where was it? Over here, where we had to tow a vehicle. And that's the vehicle that I tried to pack. And it would not pack. Uh, but it wasn't on this gameplay, it was on my other gameplay. But yes, if you, you can pack one of your own vehicles on a, uh, one of these. And they have added something else. Let's change trucks again. So anytime you want to pick up a vehicle and put it on one of your trailers, Let's get around here and hit that. So now you are able to actually pick it up. There's a winch point on the roof. So you can pick it up and make it much easier to load it up on a trailer. Or to move the vehicle anywhere you want to. If you have to move it to a certain area, you can do that. Uh, so I am still sick, still dealing with this stomach flu, and it has moved up to my chest, so now I've got a chest cold, and it is driving me nuts. Sitting here and not being able to do much. So what I have been doing, you can see I have a lot of vehicles sitting out here, and they're all ready to do missions. Uh, I've got things like the twin steers sitting over here ready to load up with the Voron ready to load it because I've been using some trucks that I don't normally use. I've got the Chevy sitting over here, a couple of timed events. I think I have enough fuel for that. I'm going to try those. Uh, just trucks everywhere. Uh, have the uh, Tatran is out getting ready to do a mission. I have the R87 getting ready to come over here and pull a vehicle out. And have things like the Hummers out here, which is what we're going to start with. So I've got a lot of things set up and I'm kind of running out of trucks. And I need to get some of these missions done so that I know what to do next. Uh, so we're going to start out with the Hummer. And I apologize if I start coughing and have to turn off the volume. Uh, but I will try my best to keep it together. Let's get over here without falling through the gap. Because you can fall through that gap there. And the same over here. Oh, and I fell through. Uh, let's see if I can winch it so I don't <clears throat> accidentally drive it off the edge of the bridge. There we go. So this mission is the one you see up here, the abandoned trailer. <clears throat> and we're going to go over, we're going to grab it, make our delivery. And it is a fuel trailer, and why are you going so slow? I guess it must be really muddy here. So again, hardcore mode, I cannot advance time. I have to play it like the game gives it to me. And I think we're a little after midnight. So it should be light here pretty soon. And 
I believe my trailer's up here on the right. Come on now, you can do this. Let's do a little diff lock here. Uh, let's look for that trailer. Yep, it's right here. And we have to deliver it. Let me get the... Uh, I've got the mission up, but... So we have to deliver it to the house way up here. And what I think I'm going to do is grab it, come around here, and cross over here. And then I've got a couple of trucks that can pull me across if I need it. And then we'll take it up that way. Yeah, where am I? Over there. Alright, so this truck all the way over here had no problem with the mud. And then I get here doesn't want to go. That's okay, I have a winch. I'm thinking about going up through the woods here. Yeah, get better traction up here. Uh-oh. Where's my fuel trailer? Oh, that's the wrong mission. Never mind. I haven't opened this mission up yet, I don't guess. Or did I already do this one? Yeah, that was a flatbed. I think I already did this one. Oh, duh. It's behind me. Well, you gotta be smarter than the cargo you're trying to get. Okay, and this will require me to either go up here, that's right, and deliver it up there. And it's really rocky. It's really rough to get up there. I haven't been this way. So there's a bridge there, and I think I'm going to head this way because this is a cabin loading area. And then maybe take it up through here. See if that's a little bit easier. Because I did do this one on my other playthrough, it's not a hardcore playthrough, but I can pretty much do anything I want on that one. And I have been playing that one because I have not felt like doing videos. I want to do videos and stream, but again, my body is not allowing me to do it. <clears throat> So I may get mixed up a little bit on some of these. Uh, I'm not very far along in the other one, but I did do a few of the missions. Wow, you just don't want to go now. Maybe I should have went up through the icy rocky road. That's okay, I just need to get it a little further. And I have something else sitting over here that might do a little bit better. I 
So it might help if I get out of the tire tracks a little bit. Okay, so what I'm thinking is that the Hummer is great in every place but really deep mud. But when it's pulling a trailer, it's not that good uh, in the deep mud. So let me introduce you to somebody else that I have not had on the channel very much. And that's Mr. Loaf. So I have been stubborn and hesitant and don't like the loaf. And one of the guys that I watch on YouTube playing this game, it's uh, Mr. Lone Wolf. So it's Mr. Lone Wolf. Check him out. He does a really good job with the videos. And something he's always saying is, get yourself a loaf. loaf. It is a horse of a vehicle. Okay. Yeah, I kept hearing him say that. And I'm like, yeah, first time I drove it, I really didn't like it. Da -da -da. So I'm not going to play the loaf. And I got to tell you, he was right, and I was wrong. The loaf is a horse of a vehicle. I mean, getting through all this mud has no problems whatsoever. I may need to winch a little bit. Going over rocks, going through mud. And, of course, this is really deep stuff here, so... I don't believe any of the scout vehicles are going to do great. But the loaf has done a hell of a job. So let's take it over here and help see what it can do with uh, pulling the Hummer and that load. Yeah, this is just really deep mud. I don't think any of the scouts will do great on this. So, shout out to... It's Mr. Lone Wolf. I have taken your advice. I have bought the loaf. Well, I've had the loaf, but I'm actually using the loaf and I like it. Okay, I should be able to get the Hummer from here. And let's get them going. See if I can get them both through here. And I think I've gotten them stuck. <laughs> okay. Maybe we should go the other way. And nothing to attach either way.
Nope, I've got them hung up. So I'm going to have to bring something over and pull these out. And they're far enough up here. The current shouldn't take them down. Yeah, that's just too much mud for a scout. So let's see what I got in the garage. I can come over here and lend a helping hand. I've got just the truck that I've been wanting to try on this map and I have not used yet. Actually, I haven't used the A&K yet either. But that's not the truck I was thinking of. There we go. And, you know, let's leave the fuel tanker on it. Let's see what you can do in the mud in the river. Get around my scattering of vehicles here. Plus, I think they both could use some fuel. A little bit of repairing up. And I think there's an island over here that I haven't been on yet. So let's check out that island see what it has to offer. Maybe I shouldn't have brought the fuel tanker. Now nah, I've got a truck. Get over here out of the deep stuff. See what she can do. I don't think I'll have many issues on this map with this truck. Unless I flip it over. That could be an issue. I did do some testing with the Bandit, and what I found is that the Bandit, there's the island, and there's something here, it looks like wood. Uh, but what I found with the Bandit is I was having some issues with it. It just wasn't going very good with the mud tires. So I tried off-road tires. It actually did a little bit better with off-road tires. And then I just threw the chain on to see what they would do. And the vehicle actually runs better with chain tires than it does with mud tires on this map. Uh oh. Oh, help us in all wheel drive. <clears throat> so, can you? Uh oh, dangerous water. That's not a good sign. Yeah, 
ship, taking a little bit of damage. Not much. That's okay. I've got plenty of repair points. And it would help if I actually look where I was going. Try to avoid any big rocks. Eh, yeah, look at that. Crossed right over. In automatic. I am no longer scared of the river. I can cross the river. There's several points where you can cross with that it's not too deep. And I actually took the Kolob just up and down the river. And most of the river is no issues. Uh, the Kolob didn't drown out on any of them. Okay, where am I going? Oh, we're still way up there. So I have not crossed this area yet. So there might be some big rocks. And the rocks might be too big. And I doubt there's a winch point. Oh, there is. Okay, pull me back. Okay, big rocks over there. Guess we can cross back over here. Tiny bits of damage. But not bad at all. I do figure it'll probably run better if I didn't have this big add-on. It's just pretty heavy fuel and service parts. And can I get up there? I think there's one of these areas I cannot get up. And it might be that one. Yeah, there's some, I think there's some uh, stumps up there that I can't get across the stumps with anything. So let's go around the river. Okay, and there are my vehicles over there. There's some big rocks right there. Let's see if we can go around them. And then see if I can cross. Before I do, though, I'm going to repair up. To take some damage to the fuel tank. Ah, uh, 
out of the kryptonite for this truck. Big, huge rocks. And nothing to winch to. Oh crap, this episode isn't going like I planned. Now I've got three trucks stuck. Alright, I think it's time to get serious now. Who do I have left in the garage? Got the bandit. Got the tag is still. Oh, I'm not gonna take you. Ah, uh, let's go with the bandit. And we'll see how these chain tires actually work. Now in my other playthrough, I actually delivered that tanker, or that um, flatbed. And I came the way the Hummer was heading and used the Hummer and didn't have a problem. Had to winch a few times, but... And this one... It doesn't want to do it. And we'll just stay on the road. Go out there, get the, PC, the uh, P12 out. So the P12 did pretty good until it ran into those rocks in the river. I believe it would have been okay if I didn't have the maintenance. Uh, add on. Yeah, I think the mud tires for this truck are just too wide and it just sits on the mud instead of really digging down into it. I just thought it did have the yar, but I don't think the yar has enough power to pull the ouch, pull the uh, P16 out. There's my yard. There you are. So I read something on Facebook. Very interesting story. Uh, you can look it up. Oh, shh. I do have a yar out here. <laughs> okay, this has not been my finest episode. Uh, but anyway, getting back to the uh, story, it was about why 
it's such an odd number uh, for the separation between railroad tracks and the story went into this whole big thing about uh, how the American train tracks were engineered by Europeans you're not going to stay over are you? here you are so Europeans had a set width for the railroad tracks and it just goes into a bunch of stuff but it ends up that it was based on wagon tracks, the width of wagon tracks, and that was based on uh, the Romans, how they did their chariots, and the width of their chariots, because it was uh, two horses asses wide. So a chariot have two horses, and the width of the horse's rear ends dictated the axle width and it just stayed at that number everybody used the same number so anyway, it was a really cool article if you can find it I would recommend it oh I'm way down there Come on, dig in. Let's try it this way. Let's see if the bandit can cross this. I don't think so. I think it is the snorkel is not high enough. But you never know till you try. But I think it has a little more flexibility in the chassis. And it just might do it. As long as I don't hit any major rocks. But it went over pretty good. Alright, so that's what I should have brought in the first place. And I should have put gas in it from the P-12. No! Oh, come on!
The game's trolling me now. Let's see if the P-12 can take the same path back, or same path over. Watching out for any big rocks. Trying to spot any. Okay, so the P-12 will make it over here, you just have to take the right path. Uh, so in province, what do I think of the bandits so far? I wasn't impressed in the beginning. Uh, I think the mud tires are the major issues with it. Uh, but uh, don't you flip over. You're going to flip over again, aren't you? Before I can even get going. Ah, uh, wrong truck. Now I can get up to P12. There's my winch. Um, but since I put the chain tires on it, it seems to be doing a lot better. Oh, you're just going to do that, aren't you? Okay. See, I got a lot of trucks out here because I was planning on doing a lot of missions in this episode and can't seem to get the trucks to cooperate. There we go. Let's get you up here out of the way. And I can pull these two scouts out. Man, I still have to drive all these things back, too. Uh, find you a good spot where you're up here out of the way. And go back down here to the bandit. 
And let's get the low foul first. Oh, don't tell me you're going to get stuck over here. I don't know what's up with this area. It's like death for vehicles. And of course there is no... Oh, I can go if I'm not pulling something. Alright, I got it now. Yeah, nothing wants to go through that water area. Just yeah, since I've got the upgrade for the engine, and I put the chain tires on it, uh, Bandit seems to be doing a lot better. I don't know why I disconnected that. Let's pull it on up here. Where's my dot? Just go ahead and get it past all this mud. And then we can send them on their way again. I think once I get up past this uh, water hole here, the scout should be okay. This side of the river is bad. It's in Possamandra. That's going to be my new word for areas of the maps that are such a pain in the butt to get through that are more of a pain in the butt than they need to be. So, Imandra level. Yes, I don't mind hard maps. I don't mind it when the roads are tough to get through. But there is a certain point where it's just no longer fun. The road's so bad, it's not fun anymore. And that's Amandra. Amandra, the roads were so bad, it just wasn't fun to play it. Alright. So let's go with... I was going to bring the bandit back, but Let's see if we can get the P12 out there to pull the Hummer. P12 seems to be having the least amount of issues through the mud. So yeah, you didn't like Amandra either. It's a beautiful map. 
I liked a lot of the missions, but it was just so hard. So much harder than it needed to be. Okay. And, like I've said before, there's a point where you make it so hard that it's no longer fun, and people will not want to play it. This side of the map, of this map, over here, this is the worst mud I've run into. Uh, everywhere else on the map, I've really enjoyed. There's been some pretty deep mud, but the scouts can make it through it, and if a scout can make it through it, most everything else can. You may run slow, but you're still doing progress. But this section here, from where the uh, bridge is back there, all the way up to where I left the bandit, is Imondra mud. And that's the only mud I've seen like this so far. Yeah, so Imandra does force you to use overpowered trucks just to be able to complete it. And you pretty much, you park your scout vehicles. The only two scout vehicles that's worth a dang on that map are the Lodestar and the Tatran. And you pretty much have to run them in tandem. Run the Lodestar with Truck. Run the load star with chains on it because the Tatran won't climb rocks and it won't go up ice or drive on ice. So then you'd swap out and use the load star for that. But then when you hit snow, you had to you had to have the Tatran because the load star wouldn't run in snow. It was just too deep. And that worked out as a pretty good combination but I don't want to have to take two trucks every time I go do something. So, <clears throat> ugh. So when I did my other playthrough, uh, the one where I've got every one of the trucks, I actually did not finish Imandra, but I did scout out Imandra, and I had to use uh, the heavy trucks to do the scouting, because scout vehicles just can't do it. This map, you know, I've scouted the other map, or I'm excuse me, this region, I've scouted the other map mostly in the Chevy, and then when I did the my other playthrough where I've got all the vehicles. I actually scouted this map with the Chevy. So it is possible. And I like that. I like being able to use the scout vehicles. Lake Cove and Imandra are just too tough to be fun. And if a game's not fun, people aren't going to play it. So I've heard a lot of people talking about how... Well, not a lot, but I've heard a few people talk about how they pretty much gave up on the game after or when they got to a monitor. But like I said, this is the deepest mud that I have found in the whole region. It's the only place I've had, you know, really big trouble with the scouts, where they just will not go. Alright. So, let's see if we can refuel everybody. Maintenance. Refuel the loaf. Refuel the Hummer. Refuel the P12. And refuel the Bandit. 
Step four and seventeen in gas. Alright, so we still have this mission to do, and right here's where I want to try to go up. And I think once I get out of the brown and start up the hill, I'm going to be okay. So, let's see what you can do, Hummer. See, I don't even mind when it's going really slow, as long as it's making progress. And that mud back there is just not making any progress. Oh, and this is a little icy. But what I have noticed... Yeah, most of the time, even on these icy areas, uh, the scout vehicles will still go. Just depends on the rocks. Got to push through that tree. Come on, a little bit more. If I had chain tires on, it wouldn't be an issue. But the chain tires don't run as good as the mud tires. Yep, now I got a rock. Make sure it rolls down far enough. And that's why I brought the loaf over. Let's see what the loaf. See if it can get up it. So, in province, how uh, far are you along in the game? Have you completed everything and moved over to this map yet? I thought I was going to tip it. Uh -oh. It's that rock I pulled down earlier. Now I think the Hummer will climb this by itself, but not pull in the trailer. So just give me a little winch point here. Uh, so you just started the new maps, unlocked all the towers in the first map, uh, using the mapping trailer to scout out the northwest part of the map. Just run around unlocking all the uh, quests and then start building bridges. So yeah, it's actually, this is a really fun map to explore. Uh, actually, both of these maps are. Yeah, there's a lot of different terrains. There's a lot of uh, places to climb. And I'm on a rock. So 
so let's see if you will stay. Stay. There you go. Let me get up past this rock. Get this up to the top and then see if the Hummer can make it up here pulling the trailer. There we go, we're getting the snow and we are fine. I think I need to go up that way. So let's park you. Too far away. And I'm kind of afraid to detach the trailer and let the Hummer climb a little bit and then rehook the trailer because I'm afraid the trailer will roll down the mountain and that would really suck. get a better winch point do it from the side because that usually seems like the winches are stronger from the side than from the front and you should be long enough to get the trailer winched here There you go. Claw your way. You can do it. Better slow my wheels down a little bit. And it's starting to get dark on us. So see up here even in the deep snow? Hummer does pretty good. And I have used all the scouts except for two, which I have out in the field right now going to do missions. The yarn and the little Russian one I haven't used yet. But I have it over going to pull a vehicle. trailer. I was hoping to keep the trailer. So I've only found one trailer in the game that I get to keep. And it is over on the other map. <clears throat> it's a stuck trailer. Let's drop you off here. And go back for the loaf. Get the loaf up here. And then we'll go jump in something else. Uh -oh. Come on, bouncy. So again, I am impressed by the loaf. Never drove it. I 
but a couple of times didn't really like it and it does really well here 